This is going to be a sculpture of Norwegian bodybuilder Gunnar Rosbo. I'm starting off from scratch with this as opposed to reverse engineering an existing model that someone else made or even that I made because the more I build anatomy from scratch, the better and the quicker I get. There are images on the right that show Gunnar Rosbo, but in this initial stage, I wasn't even looking at reference. I just wanted to take the sculpture to a certain point without even looking at reference because it's a test of how much anatomy you have stored in your mind when you can sculpt something realistic without referring to reference. All this reference will be in the video description and it's found on BuiltReport.com. Any of these sculptures I've done can be either printed out as a real sculpture or a statue or, or a model or whatever. They can also be animated. They can also be given stone textures, skin textures, you know, to make it look like an actual person or a, a statue or made out of stone or made out of metal. And they can also be animated just like characters in movies. I could actually create a digital Rosbo or Schwarzenegger or whoever on the level of what they do in movies because part one of this was done in the course of a day and if I spend time on these I can get these looking like they do at movie studios and then you put textures on the model and you light it in a program with real world physics where an environment is surrounding the model and light and color is bouncing back from every angle back onto the model and it can look very real or indistinguishable from a real human but of course you'd have to model with particle systems hair. You'd have to do it a little differently than I'm doing it. I'm doing these as more of a sculpture. I can put these in a hall of fame or something along those lines where you see Schwarzenegger, Gunnar Rosbo, Menser, or, you know, Ronnie Coleman or, or whoever. I mean, you could even re recreate the original Gold's gym and have it look like the actual gym. You could put Schwarzenegger inside the gym training, all that stuff. Of course, no one's going to be doing that for the fun of it. It takes time to accomplish. But I mean, you could do anything. You could do anything. If you have a, the ability to take these to a studio level, you could do anything the studios do. And this is just done within well within the course of a day, the final result. And this is just part one. And this is to look like a statue at, at the end. And the pose is kind of based on one of the poses that'll show up on the right where it's a black background on stage and, and it showcases Rosbo's forearm development. And I have this as I'm going along these preliminary stages, kind of looking like Gary Stridham, another bodybuilder. This Gary Stridham was from South Africa. Rosbo's from Norway, but there are a little bit of similarities, not a lot, but they have that kind of superhero look to the face. That would stand out today because whatever bodybuilders are doing, they're having these bloated faces or else there's just not the genetic pool of people with good bone structure, square jaws that there were in the past because everybody's face kind of looks like bloated, like there's no underlying bone structure, like they're not mesomorphic, like they're not such great genetics, but they're just blowing up their tissue to compensate where somebody like Rosbo stood out in that regard. So I took this up to a certain point in part one of this and I'll refine it further by adding more of a likeness, adding more detail. You can put a armature within this, like a skeleton that the camera won't render and you could animate this provided you model it for animation, which this isn't, but it could be easily adapted to modeling for animation. You could have like a very real looking, as real as they do in the movies, animated character of Gunnar Rosbo or anybody.